Uh, with that being said, the Oil Reign over the past week only played one game. But as we mentioned last week, it's a Portland game. It's Cascadia rivalry. It's always important. Uh, no necessarily notable fireworks in mm-hmm. this game. There was a zero to zero draw. Uh, play of the game goalkeeper Fallon to us joy. So we'll get to more Fallon here in a bit. Uh, she recorded an 8.3 rating in 90 minutes played, recording six saves. Not, you know, as I mentioned, a lot of these Cascadia rivalry matchups include a lot of fireworks. There's a lot going on. There's notable headlines. It's like, oh, there's always a spectacle to yeah. it. This is a more relaxed game, and I'm okay with coming out, splitting the points with Portland here because it's really tough to go into Portland and play at Providence Park. They have a pretty decent size uh, support group down there, and Portland's a well-made roster, and they've been a well-made. They were first in the regular season last year um, in NWSL. They didn't make the final, um, but they, they were at the top of the standings, and it was kind of the rain and the uh, thorns kind of jockeying yeah. for that position the last few weeks of the year. Um, so I'm okay splitting points down with Portland down there. When they come up here, it's a different it's a different story. But playing down there in Portland, I'm okay with splitting the points. Um, in injury-related news, on the 13th for the injury mar- report against Portland, nobody was on it at all, which is good to see. I, I want to note, though, a lot of people were like, oh, Megan Rapinoe wasn't on it. She wasn't on it last week either. So I don't know if we're following along with the rain as well as we should be. We were letting you know she wasn't on injury report last week. So this isn't anything necessarily (laughs) new. She did record notable minutes in this game. Last week, she was on injury report, but she only played uh, for the penalties uh, in that game against Washington. But um, it was good to see her play meaningful minutes. I know that's that's something she's building towards. So uh, in team-related news, on the 10th, we had four rain players named to the NWSL Challenge Cup All-Tournament team, including goalkeeper Fallon Tillis-Joyce, defenders Alana Cook and Sofia Huerta, midfielder Rose Lavelle. Uh, so four players uh, were the most in the league uh, selected to the all-tournament team. So good to see that there. Just would have liked to see the rain play in the final if they hadn't been screwed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, continuing with the news related to Fallon, on the 12th, the league awards uh, Fallon the, her fourth NWSL save of the week uh, for the penalty kick save that she had against the Spirit in that shootout. And we will shoot that over to you right about now. save of this shootout and Tullis Joyce opens the door for O.L. Reign to win it on the next shooter. Tullis Joyce read it the whole way in all game phase for Tullis Joyce. Yeah, her expression has not changed throughout this shootout. Yeah, and we could like Bill just said, she's she's been having a season. I think that's four in what, like six, seven weeks. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's obviously majority. So that's really good to see. And again, I'll always admit, leading into the season, I was wrong. I was wrong. I was worried. I was cautious, but she continues to uh continues to play well. So excited to see obviously what her career entails with her this really being the first year that she's seeing notable minutes. Um but obviously really wanted to note that there that she earned that award for the fourth time. Um, and then on the 13th, acknowledging people in awards, uh, the team recognized Ford Bethany Balser for hitting 50 regular season appearances with the club. So Bethany, a winning rookie of the year, I believe in 2019, um, has been an incredible offensive player, uh, getting close to the most goals scored last season in the league. Uh, and beating the leading, I believe she was a leading goal scorer for the club last year. So Bethany has been, she was actually my first rain interview that I ever did. Awesome. Um, so I want to recognize Bethany there. She's been a great part of this club and she's been really outspoken about mental health, uh, which is always really cool to see with anybody that's on any of our teams. So uh, continuing here in league related news, the NWSL hired Dr. Sydney Chang as the league's first chief medical officer. Mm. So Again, as the league continues to try and grow and try, uh, try to, you know, treat their players as yeah. well as they need to be, having a medical officer is something that, you know, it's a good step to see. Um, so keeping it moving, looking ahead, the rain records, it's at zero wins, two draws, and one loss in NWSL play. Tenth in the NWSL table, they will play a sort of grudge match on the 22nd versus the Washington Spirit, Washington Spirit at home with a 3 p.m. start. Obviously, I say that because last week they played the Spirit twice in the Challenge Cup semifinal and in the regular season opener, losing both of those mm-hmm. games. So some way to exact some revenge there. 